everyone, it's Haley, and today I am doing my 2016 updated bookshelf tour. So I'm not going to talk too much in this intro because it's going to be a pretty long video as it is, but I'm just going to quickly go over my organization. These bookshelves are brand new. I just finally got the one in the middle. Um, these are the Billy bookshelves from Ikea. I really, really love them. Um, so the one on the far left, that is my series shelf. So that has all of my series together. The one in the middle is just kind of decorative. They look pretty there. And then the one on the right, that is my standalones and first book in series so any book that doesn't have a match those are organized by color obviously so yeah without further ado let's get into my shelves so this is the best I can do for the top of the shelves because these things are like six feet tall and I'm currently on a step ladder for this but there's not really books up here anyways it's just pictures as you can see sorry the tripod is making a really annoying noise um, that right there is the only thing of books that I have up here. Um, so it's the Harry Potter Illustrated Edition and then the complete series with the whole It Makes Hogwarts. It's really beautiful and all that stuff. I am going to put that in this little bookshelf here, um, but I'm waiting until I get the little pop dolls for the Harry Potter series because I think that would look adorable. And then over there I just have some more little knickknacks, candles, and stuff like that. Um, that read folded thing is from Book Outlet. It just like gives you a guide to fold it. Super cool. I think it's really cute and 10 out of 10 would recommend. It does make your fingers hurt a lot though if you do it all at once, which I did. So starting off here I have my first shelf of series and they are all fantasy series. First I have the first two books of the Falling Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. So I have Falling Kingdoms and Rebel Spring. Next I have the first two books in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. So I have the first book, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, and the second book, Days of Blood and Starlight. And if you're wondering why some of the books have a yellow sticker on it, those are the books that I haven't read yet. Next I have the first two books in the Snow Like Ashes trilogy by Sarah Roche, which you guys know I absolutely love. So the first book is Snow Like Ashes and the second book is Ice Like Fire. Next I have the Splintered trilogy by A.G. Howard, so I have Splintered, Unhinged, and ensnared. Then I have the New Soul trilogy by Jodi Meadows, so I have Incarnate, Asunder, and Infinite. Next I have The Kiss of Deception. I think it's going to be a trilogy, but I have The Kiss of Deception and The Heart of Betrayal. Then I have the first two books of the Dorothy Must Die. I also think it's going to be a trilogy, so I have Dorothy Must Die and The Wicked Will Rise. And finally for this shelf I have the Grisha trilogy by Leigh Bardugo, so I have Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Rune and Rising. So now coming to the second shelf on my series shelf. This one has uh, a little bit of fantasy over here that didn't fit on that, sh that top shelf there, um, as well as paranormal, and then the start of sci-fi, which is why I have my little 11 uh, pop doll. Yay! So first I have the Eon duology by Alison Goodman, so I have Eon and Eona. Then I have the first two books in the Paper Gods trilogy by Amanda Sun, so I have Ink and Rain. Then I have the Unearthly trilogy by Cynthia Hand, so I have Unearthly, Hollowed, and Boundless. Then I have the Mara Dyer trilogy by Michelle Hodkin, so I have The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, The Evolution of Mara Dyer, and The Retribution of Mara Dyer. Then I have the first three books in the Raven Cycle Quartet by Maggie Stiefvater. So I have The Raven Boys, The Dust Jacket for the Dream Thieves because I lent it out, and Blue Lily, Lily Blue. Then I have the Miss Peregrine's Trilogy by Ransom Riggs. So I have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, and Library of Souls. And I have some of the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. So I have Ferris, which is kind of a prequel thing. I don't even know where it goes because no one knows. Then I have Cinder, which is the first one. Then I have Scarlet, which is the second one. I'm missing Cress. And I have the final one, which is Winter. So moving down, I have most of my sci-fi and moving into dystopian. So first I have the first two books in the Finishing School series by Gail Carringer. Carriger, I can't say that at all. So it's Etiquette and Espionage and Curtsies and Conspiracies. Then I have the Across the Universe trilogy by Beth Revis. So I have Across the Universe, A Million Suns, 
and Shades of Earth. Then I have the first and third book in the Starbound trilogy, I think it's called, by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. So I have These Broken Stars and Their Fractured Light. Then I have, of course, the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins. So I have The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mocking Jay. I have the Divergent trilogy by Veronica Roth. So first I have the novellas for Divergent, Insurgent, then I have the Legend Trilogy by Marie Liu, so I have Legend, Prodigy, and Champion. And finally, I have The Program. I think it was a duology, but now I'm not sure, but I have two of them. So I have The Program and The Treatment, which almost just fell. So coming down to this shelf, it finishes off my uh, dystopian and then moves on to contemporary. So first I have the Darkest Minds trilogy by Alexandra Bracken, so I have The Darkest Minds, Never Fade, In the Afterlight, which makes a sentence, which is epic. And next to that I have Passenger, which is also by Alexandra Bracken. Um, this is technically a sci-fi, I believe, or fantasy, whatever you want to call it, and it also is the first in the series, but I just decided to keep it in my Alexandra Bracken section. Then I have the Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness, so I have The Knife of Never Letting Go, The Ask and the Answer, and Monsters of Men. Then I have the Shatter Me Trilogy by Tahara Mafi, so I have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me. Then I have the Selection Series by Kara Cass, so I have The Selection, The Elite, The One, and The Air. Then I have the Anna and the French Kiss trilogy by Stephanie Perkins. So I have Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After. Then I have the Just One Day duology by Gail Foreman. So I have, they are flipped around. I have Just One Day, and then I have Just One Year. Then I have the To All the Boys I've Loved Before duology by Jenny Han. So I have To All the Boys I've Loved Before and P.S. I Still Love You. And now we're down to my very last shelf of organization. The bottom shelves are just complete hodgepodge. So down here we have one contemporary and the rest is all historical fiction. So first I have the Winger duology by Andrew Smith. So I have Winger and Standoff. Then I have the Prisoner of Night and Fog duology by Anne Blankman, so I have Prisoner of Night and Fog and Conspiracy of Blood and Smoke. Then I have the first two books in the Diviners series that is taking forever to finish by Libba Bray, so I have The Diviners and Layer of Dreams, which I am currently reading. Then I have the Infernal Devices trilogy by Cassandra Clare, so I have Clockwork Angel, I have two copies of Clockwork Prince. I just have two because one is my sister's, but I needed to fill the space. <laughs> and then I have Clockwork Princess. Then I have the Gemma Doyle trilogy by Libba Bray. So I have A Great and Terrible Beauty, Rebel Angels, and The Sweet Far Thing. Then I have the Codename Verity companion duology by Elizabeth Vine. So first I have Codename Verity and then Rose Under Fire. And finally, I have the Precious Gemstones Trilogy by Kirsten Gear. So I have Ruby Red, Sapphire Blue, and Emerald Green. So just to satisfy your curiosity, I'm gonna give you a quick, really awkward angle, disgusting glimpse at this shelf. It's gross. Um, the Mortal Instrument series is here because, um, and not on the fantasy shelf because I think the covers and spines are ugly and it's not my favorite series, so it's just down here. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And yeah, good stuff, disgusting, moving on. So coming over to this first shelf of my little kind of pretty shelf in the middle here, I have all of my Rifle Paper Company uh, Puffin and Bloom editions of children's classics. Um, I have all of them except for one, so I have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, which is the most recent one, and it is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Then I have Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery, which I actually got at um, Shakespeare and Company in Paris, so it has a little sticker. It cost me a million dollars, but it was worth it. Then I have Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. And finally, I have Heidi by G Johanna Speary. Uh, the one that I'm missing is A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett, so I will get that one eventually. 
And I have my favorite little pop doll here, which is the Alice one. She is adorable. Ah, she fell. Everything fell. So now coming down from the classics, I have my little Sarah J Mass shelf. So I have my little Game of Thrones character here. I don't watch Game of Thrones. I've only read the first graphic novel, didn't really like it, but I think she's really cute. So she just goes here. I also have a Eye of Elena necklace that someone got me, like it came in the mail once around my birthday, so I don't know if this was a birthday present or something, but thank you to whoever sent this to me. I never found out who it was, but it looks really cute on my shelf and I absolutely love it, so thank you. So I have the first book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series, a Court of Thorns and Roses, and then I have the Throne of Glass series. So I have the Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Era Fire, which I have to reread because I don't remember it at all, and Queen of Shadows, which I haven't read yet, so no spoilers, please. So moving on down here, I have my Rick Riordan shelf, which if I had everything that he's written would be a whole giant shelf, but this is just what I have. So first I obviously have the Percy Jackson series, which I really don't want to take out of here, so you know you've seen them, yeah. Then I have The Sword of Summer, which is the first book of Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, his newest series that he's writing. And then I have the Heroes of Olympus series, so I have the first book, The Lost Hero, the second book, Son of Neptune, the third book, The Mark of Athena, fourth book, The House of Hades, and the fifth book, The Blood of Olympus. Moseying on down here, we have more classics. So I have some children's classics and then some other classics. So first off, I have Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, another edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery, The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett, and A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. And I get a lot of questions about where I got these. These are all Barnes & Noble. Uh, these three are the old ones and these are the newer ones and they're like $10 each. Next I have Peter Pan by J.M. Barrie and these are the little puffin editions. I love these. I think the covers are so pretty. Then I have some Jane Austen here. These are the vintage classics editions. So I have Sense and Sensibility, Northanger Abbey, and Pride and Prejudice. And I have uh, Emma, but it's not here yet. I ordered it from Amazon, but it wasn't in stock when I ordered it. So it's gonna take a little bit to get here. Then coming down here, we have my lovely John Green shelf. I have a slight obsession with John Green. I love him. I know not like there are a lot of people who don't, but there are also a lot of people who do, so just let me be, okay? Do not get mad at me for loving him because I adore him. So first I have the Fault in Our Stars, uh, the Project for Awesome edition. Then I have my signed copy of Paper Towns, which is like my prized possession. Then I have my very first copy of the Fault in Our Stars. I have an abundance of Catherines. My first copy of Paper Towns. My first copy of Let It Snow, which is by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and uh, Lauren Miracle. My first copy of Looking for Alaska, which is all annotated because I read it for school. I have another copy, but it's lent out right now and it's falling. My next copy of Let It Snow and the limited edition Fault in Our Stars uh, audiobook that's narrated by John Green. Now, sorry about the awkward angle for the shelf here, but it's a really weird shelf to film. I'm sorry. But here you can see I have coloring books. I'm not going to take these books out because I'm too lazy, but I have coloring books and kind of like activity books here. And then here I have David Copperfield by Charles Dickens, my signed copy of Margaret Atwood's uh, The Handmaid's Tale, uh, The Giver by Lois Lowry, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey, and Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. So now we're moving on to my standalone shelf. So all of these books are either the first book in a series or a book that I only have one of in a series or standalone. So if that makes any sense, any book that like doesn't have a match, they're all organized by color quite obviously and I just love it. Teas by Amanda Maciel, Half Bad by Sally Green, The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld, the Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Eddy, The Scorpio Races by Maggie Steve Otter, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge, Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan, which now that I think about it should probably be on my John Green shelf, but oh well, it's here for now. Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead, Talon by Julie Kagawa, Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, Five to One by Holly Boger, More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, 
Reality Boy by A.S. King, The Duff by Cody Keplinger, Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan, Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover, Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King, and Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. On to the next shelf where the blues begin because so many books are blue. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, Please Ignore the Deeds by A.S. King, The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, Entwined by Heather Dixon, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand, The Falconer by Elizabeth May, The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer, The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton, Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith, The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alir Sinez, Hopeless by Colleen Hoover, We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, The Disenchantments by Nina LaCour, and All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. So moving on down here, we have The Finishing of the Blues, My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick, Beauty Queens by Libba Bray, Zack and Mia by A.J. Betts, The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, My Owls by Jen Bennett, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black, Archived by Victoria Schwab, My True Love Gave to Me by Stephanie Perkins, A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston, Written in the Stars by Aisha Saeed, Magonia by Maria Devana Headley, Serafina by Rachel Hawkins, Serafina by Rachel Hartman, The Jewel by Amy Ewing, What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick, The Effort List by Julie Halpern, Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour, Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins, Landline by Rainbow Rowell, If I Stay by Gail Foreman, Dream a Little Dream by Kirsten Gear, Red Queen by Victoria Aviard, and The Secret Hum of a Daisy by Tracy Holkser. So now moseying on down here, first I have The Impossible Knife of Memory by Lori Hulse Anderson, Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, Amy and Rogers Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga, Da Vinci's Tiger by L.M. Elliott, the Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood, In the Shadow of Blackbirds by Kat Winters, Walk on Earth a Stranger by Ray Carson, The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, More Than This by Patrick Ness, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, Angel Fall by Susan E., and The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. And now for my last actually organized shelf of my whole entire bookshelf. It's only a half shelf too, but we get down here and we have, first we have Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons, A Song for Ella Gray by David Almond, Forgive Me Letter and Peacock by Matthew Quick, The Walled City by Ryan Grodden, Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott, Reboot by Amy Tintera, Wonder by RJ Palacio, Dumplin' by Julie Murphy, Vicious by V.E. Schwab, and The Alex Crow by Andrew Smith. Then over here, I just have coloring supplies for my coloring books. Now I'll just give you a quick little glimpse at this. It's disgusting, messy, moving on. Oh, but here's a picture of my old cat and me eating cake. Nothing has changed. So that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bookshelf tour. It was a pain to do, but I love watching bookshelf tours. I think they're just really fun. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!